In this video, we will look at property rights to develop our understanding of how they impact the allocation of resources. Property rights are the exclusive rights pertaining to the ownership and possession of a given piece of property. It's not restricted to just land, as we'll see shortly. These rights allow the owner of the property to generate income. The tragedy of the commons occurs when there is a commonly shared resource where individual agents, acting in their own self-interest, behave contrary to the common good of all. An individual driver benefits from using their car to travel to work, but in doing so contributes to congestion that harms the group. In the next slide, we'll look at a specific solution to solving the problem of overfishing. Fishing rights allow the right to fish in a certain area or for a certain time. These rights are selectively given to prevent overfishing. If no rights are established, there is a possibility for the area to be overfished. Once clear rights are established, there is a restriction on the amount of fishing that can take place. This helps to preserve the fish population and prevent the exploitation of the resource. Land rights are the rights to own land. The owner of the land has a right to generate income from the use of the land. They can also restrict access to the land. If you purchase an area of land and build apartments on it, you can rent these out for an income. You can also directly rent out the land for use. National parks are areas of land that are protected by the government for the sake of conserving the environment. The land cannot be developed by individuals or organizations. The government protects these areas and allows access to the parks by the general public to be enjoyed for their natural beauty. Intellectual property rights allow for the protection of products of the intellect that have commercial value. This is commonly done through copyrights, trademarks, and patents. Copyrights protect products such as software, which have been developed by companies in order to sell for a profit. If no copyright protection exists, there is less incentive to create software. Trademarks could be a word, symbol, or phrase used to identify a particular company's product and differentiate it from other companies' products. You can see the image of the fruit with a bite taken out of it, and you'll immediately associate it with Apple. They are the only company legally permitted to use this logo on their products or in advertisements. A patent is a declaration issued by a government agency declaring somebody the inventor of a new invention and having the privilege of stopping others from making, using, or selling the claimed invention. The inventor of the board game Monopoly filed for a patent that prevented others from selling the game and profiting from it. Patents thus encourage innovation by protecting inventors and allowing them to profit from their inventions. By now, you should have an understanding of how property rights may impact the allocation of economic resources. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you. That's us done for now and I will see you in the next one.